No, but I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying. But some people don't grow up. Like, like, like in the movie Thoroughbreds, that motherfucker didn't grow up. Clearly, he's on a path that like he's fucking 17 or shit, and he's not. He's like 23, and his shit, his life's going down in the fucking drain because he thinks this drug dealer shit's gonna pop off in 10 years. And if you're a drug dealer, that shit should pop off in a few months because you're a drug dealer. No one, no, he's positioned himself to be a drug dealer in a professional sense, and he's not making sense of his own drug dealing. If, so, you're, if you're a drug dealer, the reason why you drug deal is because you're trying to make quick money. Right. He's trying to make long term money, and I, like that's why I understand like about his character was because. You can tell at some point in time in high school or college he fucked up, but then he got to figure out something because he's already fucked up. So now he needs something to like stimulate being a career path with drug dealing. That's why I like the part where he was like, um, like he was like, I'm gonna be um, running this and doing all these things. But it's like it sounded like he was actually in a career other than drug dealing. And that's why I understand. That's why like you understand why like he's messing with younger people. And she pointed it out with the minor stuff. It was always like, oh, that makes sense because he's like he still thinks he's young and he has more time on his hands, or he has time to like recover from this. Like like, like oh, I'm in high school or I'm in college. I have this recovery phase where I can get my shit together before college or high school ends, and I can um, get my shit together and do better things. But no, he's out of college for a few years, and he's at that point where he's like, I need to get my shit together. So let me drug deal. And make it like in my career, so like in ten to five years, I don't be um, rich or whatever. But he still has um, drug charges, and he still has fucking. So we're talking about thoroughbreds. Uh, it's a really great movie that we saw today. Uh, by the way, I'm Brandon. I like to talk about culture. Boo! And I'm Trajan. He is a critic of everything. Oh, yeah. You already know. Even my life. You already know. <laughs> yep. You need to get your shit together, Brandon. You'd be like, this guy in the movie. He gives me constant reviews of my life in every area. But that's a good thing, though. Uh, I don't... If you don't have honest people in your life, but you're living a lie. Okay, right. There's honesty, and then there's that. Oh, come on. Anyway. You know it's true. Thoroughbreds, guys. It was a really good movie. I really uh, enjoyed it. That shit was bomb. And it was like, I don't know, what's what's the word? There's like levels like of it was like intensity and it really felt like you were meant to be unsettled from the beginning of the movie because yeah. it's like the movie like the sounds are so low where everything just feels very quiet. And there's a lot of long takes and long like long silences. Yeah. And when noises happen, you should pay attention to it. Oh, yeah, this is a spoiler-free review. We'll come out with a, um, a longer review later, but we just want to get the basics out because we just came out of the movie, like, at least an hour ago, so. Yeah, it was... But, yeah, I think everybody was on point in this movie from the, um, Anna Taylor-Joy, right? Yeah. And I forgot the other Olivia girl's name. Cook. Olivia Cook. Yeah. Is, what was she in before? I swear she's she in before. Bates Motel, and then she's also going to be in Ready Player One. Okay, yeah. They was giving a solid performance, especially the, um, the second girl, Olivia Cook. Yeah. I mean, like... She gave, like, a pretty solid performance because, like, her character is not really a spoiler. She doesn't really feel anything. So, like, her, her like, whole, her whole mood is the same throughout the movie, and she has a cute that throughout the movie. And I think that's a really good acting just because, like, she doesn't give, like, dramatic performances. Like, she's really, like, one-dimensional character, but it's, like, she's also, like, very developed throughout the movie yeah. in, like, a small sense. And, like, I think that's pretty good. And I think, um... The other character, she was pretty good because, like, she had to, like, mostly, like, do more of the acting, if that makes sense. Right, yeah, because she had to show all the emotions. She had to... Like, she had to show the emotions from bo- both of them like, in some situations, so that was pretty cool. Uh, then the stepdad was pretty good. I'm not sure his name, but he really didn't have to mean lines or different things, but he did play, like, a um, pivotal role in this movie. He really did, yeah. Um, what was the drug dealer's name? He's a... Uh, I forgot what he was Anton in. Anton Yelchin. He's been in Star Trek. He was in Odd Thomas. Uh, he was also... Um, I can't remember the name of the movie right now. Did he pass away? Yeah, he died. For real? Yeah, he died like last year actually. I swear I thought he was still alive. Yeah, I know, right? Oh damn! I really did like him for real. He's a really good. He was a really good actor, you know. He's he's a good actor. I thought I did not know he died though. Yeah, man, it's really sad. But yeah, this was a pretty good role, man. Like he did, he like he did a pretty solid job. Is this his last movie that he was ever in? This is the last one that's been released, yeah. Yeah, y'all should go support it, man, for real. Like, yeah. it was a really bomb movie. And I hope the movie actually gets the push that it deserves. Even though I don't know what critics have said or anything, but, like, I don't think it's a pretty solid movie. But it's one of those movies that sneaks under people's radar a lot. Because, like, it's not, like, a really big movie. It's like a, it's kind of more of an independent movie. The movie characters, what, like, 
six, maybe six characters in this movie. It's like yeah, current. Yeah, yeah six characters. Maybe maybe four. To be honest. Yeah, four main characters for sure. Yeah, I and mean, it's like you sleep really like in the gym with like location. They only switch locations maybe like two or three times. It's like it's a really solid movie. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much all we got for um, our initial review. Yeah, fresh out the theater. Definitely make sure to check this movie out. It's worth a watch. 